Back again. Get what you get. Ladies and gentlemen, today, dealer's choice. I was just on YouTube, and this Lake Street Dive Lola, which is a Kinks cover, uh, was in my feed. I've seen this before, uh, but it's been years, and I thought to myself, I remember this being a really good performance, and I remember the shot. I remember thinking to myself, the actual videography like 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 the shot in the sound itself was just great and i thought if there's anybody out there that hasn't seen it um this is definitely worth checking out and i've never learned this tune so i figured you know what let's just put the camera on let's figure out the chords and let's watch lake street Dri dive do lola so here we go How the camera's moving like this? I'm not the world's most physical guy, but when she squeezed me tight, she nearly broke my spine. Oh, my Lola. La, 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 Lola. I'm not dumb, but I can't understand why she walks like a woman and talks like a man. My Lola. La, la, la. What a cool song, and I love her. She's great. The 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 uh, the female upright bass player. Love her. Great. Love how understated the guitar part is, and the backup harmonies are just killer. And I'm telling you, watch the camera. These are like very very cool shots that's happening here. This is a super cool performance. Now, as far as the structure of the tune goes. Um, Pretty straightforward. It's E, A, D, and back to E. So it's really like, you know, it's like an E mixolydian vibe. You have E major, D major, and you have A major. So that would be a one, four, five in the key of A. And if you're wondering how I just kind of figured this out, like it's magic, totally not. Uh, this is a very standard chord progression and uh, in a very, very standard key. And any time you have, you know, an E major and an A major, right, that can either be the one chord or the four chord, right, because they are a fourth apart. So it's always going to be one of those. So when I hear a chord outside of it, I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's either going to be a B, making E1, or it's going to be D making A1. That's it. There's only seven notes in, you know, basic Western, uh, you know, harmony, like if you're staying in key. So you know where your one, four, fives are. You know you have an E and an A. That sounds like a one to a four. Right? And you just fill in the gaps. That's how it's done. Then it does something very, very cool here for that bridge part, if you want to call it that. C major, right? C 
So if you're thinking E is your tonal center, right? This is like flat six, flat seven, one, but all major, no minor in here. Very cool. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, and that, that whole beginning part, that's E major, pattern three. And so that, that standard major pentatonic pattern three. Pushing through the nine, root six, root six, five, three, two, one. So. some variation on that. Well, we drank champagne and danced all night Under electric candlelight She picked me up and sat me on a knee And said, dear boy, I want you to come on with me Well, I'm not the world's most passionate guy But when I looked in her eyes Well, I almost fell for my love. Oh, my God. I love these two girls. All right. This is the bridge. Ignore what I said before. This is the bridge, and we're modulating now. Like that, that C major was kind of a borrowed thing, right? You're borrowing from your relative minor uh, for E minor. But now we have, I mean, there was a B in there. There was a five. Let's find it. So cool. <laughs> B. Down a fifth to F sharp. Up to A. And then A minor. So what this is really staging here is we're establishing that now this is a major four to a minor four, which goes down to your one. So you get this C sharp to C to B kind of uh, voice leading in the top. So you get that. Right? And just that is a great uh, shot right here. I might have to use that one. But uh, watch her just crush it. you can see one of the people taking pictures over there in the darkness the tambourine player crushing it it's an often overlooked instrument but hard to do correctly and crushing the three-part harmonies the three of them sound great together and listen to all the little things that the bass player is adding in there it is very tasteful and very like it is driving the tune because there's no drums here right it's just the bass and the tambourine and they're driving it really, really well. Matching it. The upright bass matching it. And again, upright bass is fretless. So you hear it not exactly, you know, get to pitch with the guitar, but it doesn't matter because the, the vibe is there, right? La, 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 la. She does a really cool thing. Instead of matching the exact notes with the guitar, when they come in and the length, she's pushing through it, just like it creating, like the first note kind of gets there, and then she doesn't doesn't quite get there, and then pulls back, and then creates kind of like a uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like when something happens here, you happen here, it's a, a, a <laughs> I'm, with, I'm without words, but she doesn't try to match the lick. It almost seems like she starts to do it and then immediately comes, comes in with something that's more of what a bass player would do. You know, where just in those little moments of space, pushing through it. Maybe the word will come. It's like he's going, he's going, uh, uh, all those, and she's going like, check it out. Boom, 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 boom. Instead of, right? So it's, it's, it's like those two together create the one thing. Happening, happening live on the fly. Little, little cool details like that that I'd love to point out. What is going on? I forgot. Maybe this is the bridge. I pushed away. I walked to the door. I fell to the floor. So many cool things happening here. So now it goes. So now it's A, E, and B, right? So now we've modulated to the key of E here, right? So we were at E mixolydian, which is A. We borrowed from a parallel minor, which got us that C sharp major, or that C major in there. And now we're A, E, B. So, making B mixo kind of our tonal center. So many cool things happening in the song. And great harmonies, great harmonies. C-sharp minor there. Got down on my knees. Yeah, so again, this is in key for E major. It's E major's relative minor. Then I at her. And a B. She and me. That's the way that I wanted to stay. And I always wanted to yes. be that way for my love. Boys and boys will be girls. It's a mixed up muddled up sugar world, except for Lola. Damn those horns. I left home just a week before, and I never ever kissed a woman before. Well, Lola smiled and took me by the hand and said, Dear God, I give a man. I'm not the world's most masculine man, but I know what I am. No, we gotta watch that. We gotta watch them all come through. I mean, look at that. That almost sounds, it does that again. It's, it's A, it almost sounds like it goes to A minor in there. I'm, I'm hearing C to C sharp before it goes up. I'm sorry, C sharp to C. Right there. 
Oh, it's so killer that they nailed that with their voices. Hold on, I gotta get this out of here. Oh, it's so good. Like walking up to the, the harmony is like walking up to E major. That is so unbelievably good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, you know, that... Yeah! Something, it's, it's, it's... Because eight, you, cause that's not in it, right? That's, that's, they did major to a minor four. And so they're walking up, but then they keep it. And so it ends on that B, which is the fifth of E, which is the chord it's going to. So, so bitchin' that now they're doing it with the four part harmony and they save it for the end here. I mean, how great is that? I, I gotta go back one more time. Listen to the tambourine. Dude's crushing it. The harmonies speak for themselves. The harmonies are out of control good. But listen to all the bass playing stuff. Listen to all the, listen to how much she starts just, just kicking ass at the end of this. Those two, though, that bass player is no joke. Those, listen, these two women are no joke. This is, this, they got, they got the hunter eye, you know? Yeah. That's the look of a real one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's the eye. It's just a great, great, great performance. The videography is great. It's so cool. The audio sounds spectacular. The tune is a Kinks cover tune. It has so many wild changes. It's E major. No, it's E mixolydian. No, it's B mixolydian. No, wait a minute. Now we have a C major in there? Wait a minute. Are we, is that A major to A minor? Are we doing like the Beatles major four to minor four thing and now we're back into E? Then you got a B and an F sharp? Are we in, are we in B major? Where are we, right? So many cool things happening. And I love that it just builds throughout. It, you know, it starts stripped down one voice, one voice right? Then you get the harmony number two comes in. And then the tambourine picks up. The bass player is still kind of just holding on to the foundation, not really pushing at all. And then each part 
Then there's a three-part harmony. Then there's that crazy bridge. And then when it comes out of that, right, with those wild changes at the end, then comes the four-part harmony, finally. And when does it come in? Where does it start? It starts with that A major and then to A minor. The voices start with that major four to minor four and then walking back up to E. That's where the four-part harmonies start. Ridiculous arrangement. And then you see the bass player just dig it out there at the end. Just totally push it across the finish line and then just let the big notes bloom in the room. And feel the vibration on the neck and just let it ripple out. It's a fantastic performance. Like I said, I've seen this before, but totally worth a reshare, totally worth diving into. And I, I'd forgotten how cool the changes in that tune is. And that's it. Lake Street Drive, Lola, the Kinks. <laughs> Love this band. Love those two women. Can't say enough. Can't say enough uh, about, th about those two in particular. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Please ring the bell if you haven't. It really helps me out a lot. And also, if you like the way I play, you like the way I kind of dissected the song, you want to learn how I do that, but like step by step, not like in one of these, you know, I don't do edit reaction videos, I hope you'll join me and a bunch of others over at GuitarGate by clicking the first link in the description. You get all my lessons, you get all my courses, and you get to join a whole community of people who are motivated and inspired to keep picking this thing up every day and figuring out the songs that they love and how to get the stuff in their head out. I hope to see you over there. Cheers.